What's up? Bader here, Behind the Dirt, and we're going to go over some of the proposed rule changes for NCAA wrestling. Specifically, the one that's got everybody talking is this the scrambling rule or the, the non-controlled takedown where you got a guy exposed on his back. So what, the rule doesn't say if you're on your back past 90, they count to three. The rule says if a guy is uh, past 90 degrees stationary, then the ref will count, will give him a verbal warning. I'm going to count. You're in danger. All right, one, two, three, takedown. But the, the issue is what, what is stationary? Um, to me, it means for how long? For how long? It means flat and just stop, but for how long? So we're going to go over a couple different positions, see how they might make calls in this new proposed rule, and maybe uh, see if we can't make it just a little bit better. So we're going to go through it. We're learning with everybody else at the same time. Mike's participating in Behind the Dirt this week, so that's great. <laughs> it's cute. Um, so a simple one, he comes here, this happens, guys will lock through the crotch, and now if my back, here I think I'm okay, I want you to just hang on a leg for a second, right? But if Mike starts to toss me back, now you see my back is exposed to the mat. The question is how long will they let you be here? My other question is, what if I'm wiggling, right? And say I roll Mike across, and I'm still exposed and he rolls me back. I'm still exposed. My back really has been 90 degrees towards the mat the whole time, but it wasn't stationary. So will they let this go or will they stop it? How long does Mike need to have my back right here exposed to the mat before they consider it stationary and the ref starts his count? Standard leg pass. This has been scrambling one-on-one -on -one since 2000 and even earlier, but it's really been prevalent in the 2000s. A lot of ways to do it, but let's say I drop off. I'm going to pass the leg this way. Now, some guys, like with Mike though right now, we're going to take that leg and start forcing me this way and catch me on my back, right? As the current rules are, no takedown, of course. I can see now if he's got me frozen here for 5, 10 plus seconds, absolutely should be called a takedown. But, okay, he's got, you know, we're here, I pass, he stops me and I go, oh no, what if I'm doing this? Back and forth. I'm not stationary, I'm not stationary, so I can stay here all day. He's got me frozen, he's got me frozen. At what point do I have to think, I better pass it again, so I'm not stationary. Not 100% clear. Okay, so, so this, I don't know exactly how this one turned into what it did, but Dean Heil versus George D. Camillo and the Southern Scuffle Semis, I believe. I'm Dean Heil, this is D. Camillo, and he lifts the leg from neutral, right? And now he's trying to butt back on top of Dean Heil. Dean Heil's trying to scoot his hips under this way and score the takedown. He, he definitely has me frozen here, stationary, but at the same time, I'm the one working to get to this takedown. So how long are they gonna give me in that position to work for the takedown? You know, we just don't know for sure. My initial reaction is to think about what this is gonna to do to the sport technically, right? So I know for a fact that when I get to a high crotch and he goes off to a leg pass, go ahead, go, 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 freeze. I can tell you categorically that this is far harder for me to score than if it were on this side of him, right? Right here, now if he passes it over, I have to go, in order to make him stationary, I have to control both parts of his body, right? Both the lower half, okay, inside leg is probably pre preferable, okay? And some type of a half, Nelson, whether it be an underside half, whether it be I just kind of holding the chin, whatever the heck I gotta do, but I wanna stop him from moving. Now, what does that mean? That means that he knows he's in danger, so the referee's going to warn him once, he's gonna turn back this way, freeze, right now, it becomes far easier for me to score. Get weight on the leg that he's attacking, somehow step over and knee down here on the, on the, uh, the hook leg, okay? I got a deuce here. And it's all because the referee made him move. Now, you know, I'm not passing judgment. I think it's probably, I think the sentiment is right, but it's gonna be interesting to see, especially the first couple of tournaments, what this, right. June 13th, we'll find out whether this, this rule actually passes. 
Um, but it, it's going to be interesting to see what it does to the sport. Now, we're going to live through it. Yeah, of course we're going to live through it. But, but the point is, I think it's, it's interesting to kind of at least you know, speculate on what this will do to the sport. I don't think it'll kill scrambling. I think it'll just change it a little bit. I agree. That's it. That's it.